This is a mortgage problem, and it's one in which uh, we ask the question, well, how, how much would it cost to pay off the loan at some point prior to the end of its term? And so this, this question of what's the remaining loan balance, same thing as asking what is the loan's payoff? Very important thing for us to know in practice um, for a house, oftentimes people sell their house before, uh, before they paid off their mortgage. For a car, people oftentimes sell a car before they paid off their, their note. Uh, and so it's uh, super, super useful. All right, so now this is a multi-step problem. And the first step, of course, is just calculating what the monthly loan payment is. So let's go back to the very beginning and think about what's going on with this, uh, this loan. Now, we've got uh, 24 years of monthly payments, and so total number of payments is gonna be 24 times 12, so that's 288 payments. Now, we're also interested in what happens immediately after payment number 34, so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, 34 and a 35 here on the timeline just so we can have some reference points. Okay, so when this loan is originally taken out, we've got a present value of 433000 and a payment amount of something that we need to find. Okay, so I've already been through this in, in other videos, so I'm going to go through very, very quickly uh, how to find uh, the loan payment. So I'm just going to go straight to a financial calculator. This is going to be my PV, and I'm going to call that a positive number because it's funds, it represents funds that we can use today to purchase a house. Here is our number of payments, so this is number of months. Now we need a discount rate. Now that's an annual rate, and so to get to our periodic rate or our monthly rate, we're just gonna divide that number by 12. So I is gonna be 5.3 divided by 12. And then finally, FV is zero because there is no additional uh, time to 88 payment. And so we're gonna try to find, we're gonna solve for payment, and payment, of course, is gonna be a negative number. Start with 433,000 as PV, zero as FV, 5.3 divided by 12 equals I, and then 288 as N. I can solve for the payment as compute payment, and so the payment is $2,660 37 cents. Okay, so payment here then is all right. So that is step number one. The next step we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to pay off the loan immediately after payment number 34. So we're talking about right here. Okay. And so if you pay off the loan. You're gonna swap this amount for some amount X right there. So those are gonna be swapped. Think of X is the present value of remaining payments. And since X happens at time 34, we're gonna subscript that as with, with a 34. And how many remaining payments are there? 254 of them. And so we can solve then for this payoff amount. We can solve for this X by simply keeping our payment the same, keeping our interest rate the same at 5.3 divided by 12. Um, and changing the number of payments to 254 and then solving for PV in the financial calculator. Okay, so we can do that very, very quickly. Okay, since everything is already in the financial calculator, I'm just going to change in to 254. So 254. 
4 goes into n. Okay, now I'm going to compute dv, and there I have the answer. And so the answer, x, the payoff, is $405,000. $638.12.